Good morning, it's April 2nd, Wednesday morning, and our topic this morning is Pray the Divine Office. The Divine Office is, um, harkens back to the medieval times when people would stop throughout the time, the day, they would stop and offer prayers to God, either in the monastic or even out in the uh, wheat fields. The bells would ring and people would stop and they would pray, very much like the Muslims do now. But we as Christians seem to have lost that um, discipline. Paula Houston recommends that today we try it. Um, the liturgy of the day, day or the divine office is called the work of God or Opus Dei. Um, very few of you probably know that in the, our Book of Common Prayer, we do have the divine office. Starting on page 37, we have morning prayer. Then it goes on to noonday prayer. Then it goes on to evening prayer. And then we have Compline. All four services, you can say yourselves. If you don't happen to have a prayer book, um, There is one online. Uh, I think you just Google book of common prayer dot org or something like that, and you can get one. Um, probably download a PDF or a Word document um, and look at it that way. Put it on your phone so you can use it and carry it with you. Um, there are many other forms of the divine office. My personal favorite is one um, a series done by Phyllis Tickle called The Divine Hours. Um, try it. Even if it, you have no other words to say, at 7, noon, 4, and um, before you go to bed, try saying the Lord's Prayer, picking out a psalm, the 23rd Psalm, offering some prayers of um, intercession, who is on your mind, who is on your heart, Try, try the medieval time and see how that would work and remind yourself that God is present. It's really an external discipline to continue to remind yourself that God is present in your whole day and your whole night, but also in your whole day. And it's a, it's a physical turning toward God and saying, yes, I remember you're there and I worship you and I welcome you. Let me know how that works for you. And I'm also interested to see if you came to the Wednesday morning Eucharist at St. Margaret's at 7.30. Bye-bye.